Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. That's when I'm recording this. It's the uh, 24th of December and uh, shucks, might as well. What's the Mayan day today? It's for road. However, I'm not recording live. I have one for you that's called Let's Go Contain Cosmos. Well, why not? And this was recorded September 24th, the first of that day, and the Mayan day was for alligator. That's the first sun sign, and it's a powerful one. Okay, so here we go. Let's go check something out together. Now, first of all, of course, let us settle within heart, find our place there at the center of our own personal cosmos deep within heart space. Now, let's suppose, let's just suppose there is really nothing out there. We have all heard by now that we are the environment. I've said that a number of times, how all that appears is just a reflection of the inner self collectively, for of course we are one, well, let's just suppose for now this is so, that this is true. There really is nothing out there, outside of us at all. Can you do that? Can you go there with me? Remember, we are just supposing here. Consider that everything in view, both of your eyes and your mind, is just you. Okay, then. As we enter this through our own heart space, the portal is there, not in the mind, we find we have expanded out tremendously. Now we don't have a body that contains us that is a home for our spirit anymore. Oh no, now we contain the body. Get the feel of this, lose the limits, the restrictions that come from identification with the body, with the thought that you are that, you are not. Okay, now you contain not just that body, of course, you contain the whole thing, the entire cosmos. That is your new body now. Expand out into that, you can do it. Feel the sun and the stars as your own atoms, the galaxies as your cells, the universes as your own organs and methods of flow and understanding and love. All of that is you. Each and every bit of it is contained within this you that you now are. The one, the sacred whole, you are that. Look out at the star systems, the radiant galaxies of light and beauty. Realize that is you, all of it. Out pictured there so that you can see and can taste of it. So you can interact with yourself. You may wonder, perhaps, why it is that you seem so locked down to the limits of the 3D, of the body's awareness. You see in your great expansiveness now how that is how it must be so, but also how it is not a limit, a constriction at all, in the way you have been used to seeing these things. Rather, it is the greatest blessing that could be contained in that space. You see how it is an interaction of love, how every particle and piece of the whole magnificent whole that you are is fully impregnated with the fullness of love, divine love. You see the tender regard for each atom each subatomic particle, all bathed and contained in the same substance of love. 
this takes your breath away for a moment or 20. You marvel or amaze that such could be the case and so fractally on both such a grand scale and down to such minutia as the subatoms. Truly stunning this is. You are seeing through eyes of heart. Mind cannot take this journey with you. Mind merely observes. From the vastness of space that you are, that you contain, you can see the full nonsense of the earthly way of reckoning time. One tiny planet in its spin round one lone star, you realize the supreme unimportance of that in the greater whole of things. You let it go. Its full inconsequence is seen. It has no light of truth backing it up. It dissolves, fades away. You are thus beyond time as you've known it, and all of space as well, for you contain that now. What an interesting state to be in, to be sure. You bask, you luxuriate in that, the peace that is born of it, that is born, B-O-R-N-E, by it. You soak that up. You are peace. You are whole. You are complete. You lack nothing. No, nothing at all. You are complete. There is no thing that is not right there within your very self. You are that, whatever it is. I am that I am. Looking within yourself, you realize that all life, all elements, all aspects, of self are quite sentient. All life is made that way. Nothing is dead or inert. Everything lives, has awareness, as energy. By the focus of your attention, you can move your awareness anywhere. Focus on anything. You can tune into that and share awareness with it. After all, it is still you, just as the fingers and toes of the bodies you wear in your various incarnations are still part with the whole, seemingly separate, yet they are one. So it is with everything now, all that is you. We are getting perhaps too ephemeral now. Let's begin to put it back together to focus that ray of attention back on the galaxy that is our own. Back down to our earth there. Don't enter your body yet though. Rather, stay focused. Outside of time here, and let's have a go at another perspective on that. Be in the solar system looking at earth, but not in or on the earth just yet. Don't descend back into form. If you will keep the focus in heart, maybe you'll see all those lifetimes, those bodies you wear across the timeline you know, the pathway of experience you've chosen to outpicture as that one soul, but wearing those various clothings, walking through those various sceneries and sets across time. You are all of that, very much so. This is not esoteric. It is quite real, experienceable. Time is collapsing now anyway. It's a good time to begin collapsing it personally, playing with removing all the limits that it's meant to you up to now. They aren't real anyway. Let's get rid of them then. <laughs> Why not? Don't look for yourself as the ape, as the amoeba, the bug, or those things. That's just the mind entering in, trying to impose its belief system on this. You don't need it. You can see quite well, quite clearly without it. So let's just ignore that sort of thing. Simple perception, that's all. 
no thought at all. Besides, you are those things anyway, no need to incarnate them. If you keep your eyes closed or softly focus them, staying within the heart space of you, you may begin to connect with the sense of it, what it feels like to be you focused in those various lifetimes, those life experiences. This knowing is more visceral. You do know what it feels like to be all of those yous. Mind will not, excuse me, mind will try not to let that in. It's too fantastic for it. Blows its theories of how things are, of how they should be. Just know that and simply ignore it. You are not limited that way. You are this. You don't need the firewall of mind protecting your sanity as it thinks it is there. You are fine. You are merely aware. At some point, please know that your mind won't play such a nuisance role. It will come to trust one day, trust in the heart, just like you do or you're learning to. Meanwhile, just like a child, it will get unruly at times. You can either ignore it or discipline it either way. Say the mantra for mind now and then. Mind will catch on. Just be at peace with what is. Whatever you do, though, don't believe anything that mind says. You can use Byron Katie for this. She's a great help deconstructing each thought, showing the false foundation of each and every one of them no matter how deeply believed. The new space we are entering, friends, has no room for beliefs to be running things. We are rising above all of that. We aren't unconsciously motivated that way, here up higher. We can know things directly, more like gnosis perhaps. There's no more need for the linear approach. That was good in its day, but it just isn't part of the new way of expanding, of perceiving that which is. If you are one who still partakes regularly of the news, of the media, of all of the electronic gadgets and toys, you may have a bit more of a challenge with this than the rest who have left that sort of thing behind. Those things go to programming you. They keep you in thrall enthralled in their glitz and the movement, the color, the sound. Now these are all choices we can make. Let's cease looking through the mind's eyes of polarity, of the right and the wrong of things, the up, the down, the in, the out, the good, the bad. Let's just see things as choices. They're quite neutral, you see. They just are. You just make your choice and then take what comes with it. You adjust your course as your inner guidance provides. You're fine regardless. You're not right. You're not wrong. You're simply fine. Let all that polarity thinking go. Time to start realizing that immediately when you find yourself polarizing against this or that. That's time to just stop. Time to go into heart and have a new look and see what you see from that new vantage. Put your heart glasses on. When you find yourself playing the blame game, it's the same thing as above. Get those heart glasses out, put them on, and do look again. <laughs> this is quite dizzifying for a time. It really messes with your head, and that's a fact. It's kind of fun, actually. A bit like taking a drug or something. The shift that goes on internally it's well worth the discomfort, my friends. If it's polarized, it's not that it's right or wrong. You're just rising above it, that's all. You need no longer be limited to that way of viewing things. You've a new way that's better, that's more expansive than that. It brings you release from so many things that were seen as problems before. They morph right out of that stance. So stay out of mind there. I hear some of you bringing up objections to what was just said. 
Can you not set all of that mind chatter aside for just this little while? Why not? What will it hurt in you? <laughs> just to stay in the heart? To allow the mind entry like that is to leave the heart zone. There's nothing wrong with that either. I just want you to have the best and highest trip that you can. We're tripping in heart. The whole cosmos is our playground but not to the mind, which is much more limited than that. So by letting mind in, you are self-limiting. Do you see how that works? Oh, you can come back in right away just as soon as you recognize what happened there. Just turn away from the mind and its thoughts. It happens that quickly that you're right back in the heart. Be alert though. Station a part of the magnificence of your heart to be on the lookout for intrusions of mind. It will alert you so that you can make the choice, the necessary choice to turn away from that, to put the focus back deep within. It's that simple. Just practice a bit so soon you'll have it down pat, have staying in mind mastered quite. It's not all bells, whistles, and fireworks, you know. It's usually not that. No, there's just a calm quietness that persists, no matter what happens outside. You're just so peaceful. You may be in heart already and just not know it as that. I bet many of you are. Take time to claim it then and make it your chosen state intentionally. Just a free will thing life calls for that. Good day then. Good life.